For today's video, we're gonna get some gameplay with the new bow. And this is what it looks like up close. You'll be able to get it after completing all of your 14 days of summer quest. Once you complete the 14th one, you'll be given this boom bow as a reward. And the perks that came with mine were damage, crit rating, physical damage, crit damage, damage, and it also causes affliction damage for six seconds. But as you can tell, we currently don't have ours maxed out. So instead we're gonna use these that Long Range gave to me. And big shout out to Long Range who gave us these fully maxed out boom bows. And the perks that he put on it were crit rating, crit damage, physical damage, crit damage, and damage. And at the very bottom it says sniper rifle, explosive bow, fires an arrow that drops over time and explodes on impact. Range and velocity increase with charge time. And for our loadout, we're gonna test it while using Rabbit Raider Jonesy. as well as the preemptive strike team perk. And for our support team, we have Skull Ranger Ramirez, Red Lion Ramirez, Crossbones Barrett, Wukong, and Chromium Ramirez. And the mission we're gonna do is this power level 132 Ride the Lightning, and we're also gonna be doing it solo. All right, so before we test it, I actually wanna see what the explosion looks like. So let's go ahead and use it on this blaster. All right, so before we get into the gameplay, I do wanna test it out against some Miss Monsters. And first, we're going to start off with this power level 132 smash. And let's see how many shots it takes to kill him. Here we go. Uh, use the shotgun shells. Oh, we just did 905,000. Oh, wow. And we just did 700,000. There we go. And it took us like four or five crossbows to kill him. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and test it on this 132 taker. Here we go. Oh, we one shot the taker. Boom. Roasted. So let's go ahead and test it out on this blaster next. Here we go. What? Oh, we killed him with what? one shot. Okay, so you can one shot blasters and takers with the boom bow. And we one shot both the taker and the blaster without even eating a coconut. That was a nice shot, but I'm going to show you how it's done, man. Boom! So I also want to see if it goes through shield. Just to double check and see. Here we go. Oh, wait. It looks like we did damage through it. Hold on. Oh, we did do damage through it. Wow. And I also want to test it against propanes as well. And it looks like it does cause the propanes to explode. Boom, you're dead. Boom, you're dead again. Boom, boom, boom. So I guess another thing I should point out when it comes to the bow is that you can charge it. Uh, if you shoot it without charging it, I'll go ahead and show y'all what it looks like. It's going to shoot a little bit slower. Boom. And the range isn't going to be as far. And you see it barely Boom. went anywhere right there. But if you charge it, it's going to increase the range as well Boom. as the speed. So if you want to shoot Boom. farther or shoot quicker, then you're going to want to hold down the trigger before you let go. Boom. All right, well, I think we're ready for the first wave. Let's go ahead and get started. Defend the van. Uh, we didn't go over the build limit. I think we were gotcha. right at it. We've and I'm not sure. Oh, play. it looks like we got fire husk on this one. Huh. And we also have a mini boss on the second wave. But yeah, we did go ahead and place down a couple of tunnels. And we also have a couple of defenders helping us out. And they're both using the boom bow as well, so that way everybody's using the boom bow. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to the boom bow, it, we're actually doing more damage than I thought we would do with it. I believe the most damage we've done up to this point is 900,000. And I haven't gotten that much damage with that many sniper rifles. I think the most damage I've ever done with the sniper rifle is uh, over a million with the Yeoman. But that one didn't have explosive damage like the Boom Bow does. Technically, you could probably do just about as much damage with this one as you can with other snipers. But yeah, compared to all the other snipers that I've maxed out, this is definitely one of the, the highest damage snipers. Somehow they already broke down our little ramp here. Oh, did not mean to build that one. Let's go get rid of it real quick. Okay, there we go. 
And if we get another Smasher, I'll use my Warcry since we haven't used it up to this point. See if we can do even more damage with our Warcry. Sorry, can't. And I kind of want to save it for a Smasher. Oh, they're they're going up here. Okay, I did not see them breaking in through up here. Let's go ahead and fix that. Oh, oh man, we are struggling so hard right now. Let's go ahead and try to fix this real quick. And I think I heard another Smasher, so let's go ahead and use our War Cry. Oh, this one's a fire one. Uh-oh. And let's just see how much damage we do with it. See if we can do over 900,000. Make sure these don't attack our van, because they can do damage to it. Matter of fact, I don't think I have any coconuts at the moment. I'll try to get some coconuts before the next wave. And see how much damage we do that way. Uh, but since we have physical element, we're not going to do as much damage against Fire Husk. Which is why I think we're not doing a whole lot of damage to this Smasher right here. But yeah, this wave is almost over. Let's go ahead and repair and replace everything. And I'm also going to try to get some coconuts if possible. And then we'll do the last wave. All right, let's go ahead and start the last wave. And this time we're going to eat coconuts. Defend the van. Because I want to try to deal as much damage as possible. Right. Now, the spawns We've did sort of change, play. so we added a few more traps. And it's like they're coming over here for whatever reason. Uh, let's go ahead and add some traps over here. Help us out. Because we don't want them going this way. And hopefully we get some smashers. We will get a mini boss on this second wave. And I'm going to try to save my slow fill for the mini boss. But if we get some smashers or any other type of mist monster, then I'll use my war cry and see how much damage we do. Let's go ahead and close that off. But yeah, when it comes to the boom bow, I would definitely recommend getting it. I think other than the uh, dragon sniper rifle, it's the only sort of explosive sniper that we have in the game. And honestly, I prefer this one over the dragon sniper rifle, just because it seems like we're dealing more damage with it. Let's go ahead and eat another coconut. Oh, there's the mini boss. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see, we got damage tank, vampiric wall weakening. Oh man. And let's see, 490,000. Let's go ahead and use our war cry. And we're going to try to take out this mini boss using nothing but our boom bow. Let's see how we do. Right now, we're at like. We only took away a quarter of his health so far. Oh man, this is going to be rough. It's going to be rough, people. Hopefully, our defenders can help us out a little bit. I don't know if they're there or not. They should be up there. Help us out, defenders. We may need it about halfway. We still got two minutes. We're going to try Let's go ahead and eat another coconut. Nope. We're going to try to kill this mini boss as best we can. Oh, where is he going? Uh-oh. And I'm sort of ignoring everything else here, but hopefully our traps will hold up. Anyways, we are supposed to be getting a new sci-fi rocket launcher as well as a new war game simulation tomorrow, so... We'll try to get some gameplay of both of those as quickly as possible. Oh man, we're not even halfway. This is bad, people. We're going to try to get them, though. Another reason I really like the Boombo is because uh, of that extra explosive damage that you get from it. Let's go. Another thing I like about the Boombo is that it uses shotgun shells. Most sniper rifles use heavy bullets. So that's sort of another thing I like about it. Uh, a couple of things I don't like about it though is that obviously you're only going to get one bow, which means you have to reload after every shot. Uh, and I also don't like how you have to charge it. It sort of wastes time a little bit. And oh, we may end up getting this mini boss after all. Oh, we got him. Perfect. Using nothing but our boom bow. Perfect. Beautiful. 
But yeah, I don't really like how uh, the charge time sort of takes a while. It sort of slows you down a little bit. But I think that's like the only thing I don't like about it, Not to be possible. honest. I like how when you use it with defenders, it sort of like makes them explosive. Because obviously you can't use rocket launchers or grenade launchers with defenders. That's another thing I like about it. Gives you the option to let your defenders use explosive weapons. Three, and out two, of the three crossbows one, that I've tried, the Heartbreaker crossbow, the Military crossbow, and the Boom Bow, this one is definitely my favorite. Good job, team. Anyways, let's go check out the rewards before we go. Alright, so we ended up getting a level 4 loot chest with some Survivor XP, Hero XP, and Gold. We also got some more gold for killing the mini boss. And we also got some re-perk as well as some rare perk up. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. Big shout out to Long Range for giving us these fully maxed out boom bows. Let us know what you think about it in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.